Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification page, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music-related videos. So, we'll see if I feel like uh, uploading this video today or tomorrow. But anyway, today we are talking about uh, Shop Goodwill or Goodwill in general. Unfortunately, the one that I had in my town recently shut down, and I never understood how that worked, because they get all of their inventory for nothing. I mean, yes, they have to pay the heating, the employees, etc., but there's no way they're not making money when they're getting all of their stuff for basically nothing and then selling it at a pretty dirt cheap price. However, if you go to shopgoodwill.com for guitars, uh, you are going to be gravely disappointed because I have never seen guitars this high. Now, I did go ahead and buy one guitar a while back off of uh, th this website. I got it for $180, probably about $30 more than I wanted to spend, and I learned my lesson the hard way. I called the employees, asked them, oh, you know, can you rub your hand down the neck? Is anything stabbing you? They told me no. I asked them if it worked. They said they have no idea. They didn't have a way to test it, whatever, you know, soldering, uh, even with my crappy soldering gun isn't the worst thing in the world, and uh, it was a Mighty Mike kit guitar, and um, they lied. It had really, really bad fret nubs, which that was the guitar I learned how to do the, take care of those on um, to a certain extent. I don't know if I would do it on a more expensive guitar. Uh, I would definitely want some more practice before I did it on, you know, a sub guitar that is more expensive than like $300 because I don't, I don't want to mess up one of my own personal guitars. I'd still take it to a Luther if I had that specific issue. But I'm just going to show you how to get to the guitar or music section in general. So if we go to categories, then we go to musical instruments, and this is just shopgoodwill.com. Now there's two ways that I usually kind of default this. So the first one is if you want to see what the actual good stuff on here is, you do price highest first. And the reason you do this is because if you're looking for a Gibson that you think you're going to get cheap or a Fender... Fender Jaguar here. Uh, we got a violin, some sort of uh, mandolin acoustic guitar thing. Here's a Gibson SJEJ 2013. So here's, you're already starting to see where <laughs> this is getting expensive. So this is a Gibson SGJ 2013. It says hand rub. Let's click on it. Let's get a better image. And this, yeah, I mean, it's it's not like a fancy SG. This wasn't like the baseline. I believe the baseline would be like the Melody Maker of this year, similar to it. But, you know, no gloss finish, no binding, cheapy but not super cheap pickups. Definitely a more affordable model. Um, I don't exactly know the price of these when they first released them. I'm guessing they would probably be the $800 range. But usually, I mean, max price on these things is like $700. If I were to buy this uh, just so I could get out of it if I needed to, I'd want to be in like the $500 range. And this is already at $657.02. And there's still four days on it, so I can guarantee you it would not surprise me if this jumped up to $800. And I think people think they're getting a deal, they get into it more and more, you know, this used to be a website where nobody knew about it, and you could get a Gibson Les Paul, like a regular plain standard Les Paul, for like, you know, $500 to $1,000, very reasonable price for that type of guitar, yeah, but not anymore. Everybody knows about it, and I think everybody's just jumping the gun. Uh, they don't have it listed here anymore. They did. They had a Jimi Hendrix Monetary Strat, which is a made in Mexican Strat. Basically, the only thing... I'll, I'll pull it up for you here uh, real quick. But basically, the only thing that is uh, different about it is the paint job. So if we go to images, this one right here. So this is basically a standard... Made in Mexico Fender Stratocaster. Nothing special about it, minus that your truss rod adjustment is going to be at the heel, so you would have to take the neck off to adjust the truss rod. 21 frets, uh, besides the fancy paint job on it. And I believe they sold for the eight to nine hundred dollar range new, and it sold for fourteen hundred dollars. I know you can't find the guitar anymore, but I, there's actually a few on reverb right now for lower than that price. And I'm just like, if you can find them on reverb for cheaper, why are you wasting your time here? Uh, here's a drum set. 
I just want to see if I can find something. If this is a plain Jane Fender Stratocaster, that is nothing fancy about it. Okay, this is a photo flame. That explains why this is a little bit more expensive. Um, it might be a photo flame, maybe not. But uh, this has the fancy flame top. So that explains why that is slightly more expensive. But you're, you're not really going to find a great deal here. Um, I'm going to see, let's see what else we got going. Like here is one of those cheap, you know, I call them garage shell specials guitars from the 60s. Now there are guys that collect them now. A lot of them use them as uh, slide guitars because you don't really have a way to adjust the intonation or the height uh, too well on these things. I used to have one of these I got for like a really dirt cheap price at a garage shell that I had to fix up. And it played, sounded decent, but you know, it's, it's definitely cheaply made. You know, you buy one of these Sears catalogs guitars, don't expect much. You might maybe pull out the pickups if you want them and put them in your guitar. Look at that, two bolts on the back. I mean, really. How secure could that possibly be? Guitars that were not made to last the test of time. Let's put it that way. There's another one. Here's a blue Fender Strat. I mean, the prices are getting lower because we went high to low. There's nothing really, like, crazy on here. You can also go by search terms. So let's type in Gibson and let's see what we get. Let's go from there. So, acoustic, this is a shell, Gibson Les Paul shell, let's see here, condition is fair, and also crappy labeling doesn't help too, this looks, that doesn't look like a Gibson. That is not a Gibson. That is a Fibson. Oh, look at that. Fake. So they're trying to advertise this as a real Gibson to get more money on it. In reality, it is not a real. It is a fake guitar. You can tell pretty easily. I could tell just by looking at it. Gibson Les Paul Epiphone. Gibson. Holy crap. What did someone do to that poor guitar? Oh. 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 What did you? What did they do? What did they do to that? You can find some interesting things. I mean, if you find something beat up and you know how to paint, power to you, my friend. Power to you. But, uh, you, as I said, you're not going to really find a great deal on here unless you're looking at the cheaper end of things. So if we go to lowest first, uh, Maestro by Gibson. Nobody likes those things anyway. Baldwin, Gibson, Maestro, Gibson, Maestro, Gibson, Maestro off for like $10. I mean, you can probably get an acoustic guitar for 10 bucks. Let's look at the ending soonest here. Yeah, right here. Gibson Maestro Acoustic. So it's not a real Gibson. It's like a Chinese thing they, where they gave their name to it. I don't even think they have the correct headstock on these things. Oh, they do. So you might fool somebody. Yeah, buy Gibson. But uh, these are just kind of cheapy guitars. I've had, I've played a few of them. You know, they're not terrible. They're playable. But, they're you know, for your intermediate and upper player, they don't want anything to do with them. And, I mean, look. All these are Gibson Maestro. Gibson Maestro. Gibson Maestro. All junky. All junky. There's an actual Gibson that's ending in four hours, and that that is, I think, a reasonable price. I'm not too familiar with this particular guitar. Oh, you know why this is cheaper? Not a lot of people are. Not that I'm aware of. Not a lot of people are into the uh, the classic Gibsons. This looks like an Epiphone headstock. I don't know if somebody cut the ears off with this. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Yeah, look at that. That's actually not a terrible deal. This is going to be gone probably before this video goes up. But uh, if you're interested in a Gibson classical style guitar there you go but just going to ending soonest here with the you know the ones that got a few hours left on it you can get an acoustic guitar for like 30 bucks so if you want to just start playing guitar you know you can definitely find it a little bit of a deal here on the cheaper stuff i don't know why there's only one page here ah that's why let's clear my filter out let's see what else they have here and you can do Gibson, Fender, you know, if you do pickups or pedals, sometimes you find guitar pedals. You're not going to find a deal on guitar pedals either. Uh, honestly, you're better off going to Reverb or eBay in that particular regards because they don't test the guitar pedals. Uh, that is also a downside too. They don't test anything. So if you got a warped neck, messed up frets, electronics that don't work, that is all going to be your problem in the foreseeable future, unfortunately. I don't even know what this is. Airy Electric Acoustic Guitar with Case. 130 bucks ain't a terrible deal, something like that. You can get a trumpet, some sort of DJ equipment, unbranded, $70, but, I mean, the cheaper stuff, the stuff that nobody wants, uh, you're going to be able to find a deal on. This is a Fender Starcaster. Honestly, I would I, I would rather have a Squire because these th things are just freaking miserable. Um, the Starcasters, I, I've, I've never played a Starcaster that I actually enjoyed. 
Uh, maybe some of you have, but I haven't. I thought it was all junk. Um, I'm also hoping, if you're interested in this video, that my voice sounds better because I am using my headset microphone and I am not using my crappy laptop one. So let's let's hope it all works out for the best there. But you got amps on here. That's a pretty reasonable price for a little 15 watt amp. You know, nothing fancy going on. That looks kind of cool. Not exactly sure what that is, but uh, just my experience with it was bad. So just keep in mind, there is a 50-50 chance that you are going to get a piece of junk on arrival. Uh, may have a lot of problems. We don't really know if it does or doesn't. But the problem with that is uh, most of the time, unless it's damaged during shipping, you can't even return it. You have five days to report a major problem. Um, and try to return it, but because of the way Goodwill works, there is a very small to slim chance that they will actually accept the fact that you messed up and that it wasn't as it's described. Because a lot of these descriptions, if we go to the descriptions, they actually say, you know, contact the, the, the store. Some of them do, yeah, like most items are shipped within five days. If we go on to, let's see, is it shipping or returns? Seller info, perhaps. Let's see. Rule of auction, our auctions. So all items are sold as is and non-refundable. There we go. Only exceptions are in case of damage during shipping. So, or like mass misrepresentation. So if they say it's a guitar, it's a guitar. Like they, they, they don't, they're, they're not guitar experts. They're not going to explain whether or not there's a warped neck or, you know, something seriously wrong with the guitar, and then you're stuck with it. Uh, I got lucky with mine. I traded it for a couple guitar pedals. I sold the guitar pedals and ended up getting my money back. What is this look interesting looking thing? Oh, that's the Fender Flamey guitar again. I kind of, I wouldn't mind a good Fender with a flame top, but not, not for that kind of money. I can get a Mexican uh, Fender for probably $300 off of my local Craigslist. I see them pop up once in a while, but... And also, you know, do the lesser known brands too, like uh, do your PV, not a lot of people know about PV. I'm showing you all about PV now, you're welcome. But, uh, you know, there's some cheaper guitars on here, some amps. And whatever you want to search, the sky's the limit. You just go to categories, musical instruments, as I said, try lowest price or try ending soonest. Try highest price because that's where you're going to find your good stuff that people actually want. You can also do stuff like the Hot 50. And there's always, always a guitar in the Hot 50. Yup, right there. Every single time there's another guitar. What is, what? What is this? Oh, I hate, I, I mean, I, I am not a fan of stickers. That is stickers and duct tape. They were definitely trying to do some Green Day, Green Day stuff. Look at that. That is just straight up duct tape, taping a strap to the guitar. That is kind of hilarious. On that note, I think I'll end the video, but uh, if you want to buy a cheap guitar off of Craigslist, or sorry, Goodwill, well, Craigslist too, uh, but more in this video, Goodwill, and, and you want to pay like 30 bucks for it, and you know, whatever, if, if it comes and it plays and it works, power to you, but keep in mind, if you're going to spend a good chunk of change, you never know what you're going to get. It may have a warped neck or other mechanical and electronic issues and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it because you can't return it so be wary do what you will with the information in this video this has been gray's guitars my name is steve gray thank you for watching and as always the second one was better have a good one <laughs>